Hello and welcome back to Toy Vivisection for Science. Uh, when we last left off, uh, I had just uh, dismantled the wings of a Princess Celestia doll. As you can see, uh, she is in much, much different shape. Unfortunately, about half of the uh, recording had been uh, obliterated and I was not able to save it. So we're going to have to start back up uh, with uh, Celestia looking slightly worse for wear. Uh, to do a recap, uh, we pretty much took a, took apart the wings of the Celestia, which was this uh, nice little cloth thing. Not didn't look too impressive, but once you actually get to the structural details, uh, you'll find that uh, the Princess Celestia doll has pretty good wings. Uh, the H wing contains about four LEDs that uh, flicker and, and light up uh, when the button is pushed firmly. When pushed lightly. The, um, oh, my hair looks beautiful! Oh, yeah, it lights up and uh, says one of eight rather, rather terrible choice of phrases. Just, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't really sound like Celestia at all from the cartoon series, but it doesn't even look like Celestia from the cartoon series. I, it a little looks somewhat like it. But, um... During the second half of the video that was lost, uh, the hair was removed, as was the tail, and the figure itself was uh, pretty much bisected in half, uh, right down the middle. And uh, now that, now that uh, we're back on, I'm going to uh, take apart Celestia and show you how she functions. Now, of course, we have, you know, the button, the wing structure, which which does the light up and everything else like that. Um, the head, I noticed that the body is hard plastic, but the head is a sort of uh, softer, um, sort of squishy uh, type uh, plastic, which is which is a pretty good thing, you know, especially when you're dealing with things like you know the horn and whatnot. So, and and the I will say that the painting on the eyes is rather remarkable. It looks it looks pretty close to a pony from the uh, G4 series. Now, uh, Celestia comes... Oops, sorry about that. Celestia comes in two separate halves. And as you notice, um, you have right here, you have the main battery pack, which, as mentioned before, is completely enclosed and is cleverly hidden by uh, the... Uh, necklace of the Celestia toy. Um, now, let me see if I can let me move this over here so I can get a better look at what's going on. There we go. Now, if you notice right here, we have the speaker, which is hidden in this chamber right here. This chamber is actually a pretty clever uh, thing. What it does is it amplifies the speaker itself, which would normally be, you know, fairly light. And it pushes it, set, sets the sound through these uh, holes right here. It, it really um, amplifies it and makes it easier to hear, which is very nice. Uh, over here, behind here, you can see where the button is. And um, normally, if when the thing was together, uh, the button would, you know, you would lightly press the button, the wing would flap. And. Um, and if you press firmly, it would do another one of the phrases. I love to make new friends. Uh, the new phrases. Oh, boy. But you have right here... Um, let me bring the light a little bit closer. What you have right here is you have a very nice uh, you know, little circuitry voice box. Little wiring leads up to the LEDs that are set in the wings so that they light up. And as you can see, there is a, a port on the other side. There we go. Which has a hookup so that whenever they're putting when they're putting the two halves together, they can just plug in the, the uh, parts. It makes it a little bit easier for those who are modifying the figure and uh, making it into something else like I am planning on doing. Uh, this will be a new Nightmare Moon figure. Uh, which, which, or a custom Nightmare Moon figure, which I'm currently working on. Um, so that's pretty much that's pretty much the internal structure of the Princess Celestia doll. And um, I'm not certain if there's any way to uh, 
re-record over what is currently on this uh, current voice chip, I'm going to attempt to uh, put in a, a separate one, um, which is a bit larger than, than that, but I'm going to be taking out the speaker and solder on, um, welding it onto the speaker line of the other one. And so it's, it's, I will say this, for a simple toy, it's, it's fairly well made. Uh, my gripes are, of course, the color of the figure does not match uh, the color in the show. The voice doesn't sound the same, and the phrase, some of the phrases can be misconstrued. Uh, but all in all, I think it's a, a fairly decent figure. Um, I, I would say that this is actually uh, worth the uh, worth the cost, which is which is something I normally would not say about a toy. You're my best friend. And for some reason, uh, this uh, Celestia thinks I'm its best friend. But um, yes, so as you can see, this is what makes uh, the Celestia figure function, and um, so now you know how it works. Please do not take your toys apart. Anyway, this has been Yeena Muffin, and this has been Toy Vivisection for Science.